What's up guys? Welcome to my first list on this channel. Since I enjoy Arsenal a lot and I love playing it, I thought I would make my first list centered around it. Anyways, without further ado, here are the top 10 most overpowered weapons in Arsenal. Before we begin, if you don't mind, please go ahead and subscribe, turn on notifications, and hit the like button to let me know if you guys want to see more content like this. All five of you, at least. Anyways, here we go. Number 10, the M1 Variants. Rather than this being a simple weapon, I bunched all the M1 Variants into one category for the sake of not being able to choose one that's better than all the others. They all do lots of damage per second, DPS, and all have one shot headshot kills, which is an impressive feat for such a small weapon with such a small cartridge. As you guys saw there, it just took like one little click to get that dude dead instantly in the head. Which is why I picked this at number 10. Number 9, the M16A2. This weapon would be pretty average, if not a worse version of the M16 slash M4 family because of its burst fire capabilities, if it weren't for the grenade launcher. The grenade inside of here is what makes this weapon so overpowered in the first place, as it has a huge splash damage range and does tons of damage inside said range. I have on occasion gotten triple kills using this weapon, all by simply clicking a button to launch my grenade into a crowd of people. Number 8, Sawed Off Double Barrel Shotgun. The little brother of the Double Barrel Slug Shotgun is its Sawed Off variant. Often, this weapon can be quite fun to use, given the insane amounts of knockback it does to you and other players, not to mention the crazy trick shots you can pull off with it, which I will show some footage later. That's called foreshadowing, by the way. She was dead nearly instantly after those two shots were pulled off, which is what's crazy. Number 7, the Railgun. One of the earliest one-shot weapons is the Railgun, originally boasting a very slow reload time of about 4 seconds. The weapon has definitely gotten an upgrade since the early days. Now with a much shorter reload time of a bit less than a second, this rifle can rapidly fire off insta-kill laser beams that can obliterate anyone who stands in its way. Number 6, the AWP or AWP. Being the second sniper rifle on this list, it is another insta-kill rifle that has been in the game for a very long time. The only reason why I choose this one over the railgun is primarily because of two things. One, it doesn't have a tracer effect that gives away your location. And two, it just sounds awesome. Listen to this thing. Number 5, the MG42. This weapon was known as the Buzzsaw back in World War II for a reason. This thing's fire rates through the roof, being able to empty an entire magazine of 50 rounds in about 5 seconds. Combined with its insanely high damage per second, it makes for an unstoppable 4 second mowed down an enemy quicker than you can say its name. Number 4, the Laser Gun. Similarly to the MG42, this weapon's fire rate is insanely high, higher than that even of the MG42's. This weapon is even crazier than it sounds. With no recoil, as soon as someone pops their head over a wall, you can kill them insanely quickly. Just watch. Okay guys, now this is where we get crazy. Every weapon from here on out is almost completely broken, to the point that even somebody who's never played this game before can mow down opponents using its immense power. Number 3, the Trench Shotgun. Added more recently, the Trench Shotgun seems to be a normal shotgun on the outside, but after using it, it is definitely a force to be reckoned with. This is mainly due to being able to one-shot people from mid-range as a shotgun. Its insane power coupled with large crowds can lead to pretty crazy situations, which is why I placed it in number 3. Number 2, the Barrett 50 Cal. <laughs> this weapon. Oh man. This thing is so overpowered, I don't know where to begin with. First of all, it's semi-automatic, and next, it's one-shot kill. The only downside of this weapon is its walking speed, but that can easily be mitigated by running with your knife. If you miss one shot with Barrett, you can take another, and another, and another, and if you haven't killed anybody by the time your magazine is empty, you are completely in a right for blaming the game, not the player this time. Number 1, the Double Barrel Slug Shotgun. If you thought the Barrett 50 Cal was OP, then wait till you see this.
This is by far the most versatile, deadly, and overpowered killing machine in the entire game. Boasting slugs instead of buckshot or birdshot, this shotgun is effectively a sniper rifle, being able to one-shot enemies at long range. Not just that, but the recoil on this gun is insane. Take a look. With this gun's immense power, the shotgun is transformed from solely a close range weapon to one that can be used accurately and efficiently at all ranges. Thanks so much for watching guys, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications to know when I release a new video. If you disagree with anything I said here, instead of disliking or leaving an angry comment, tell me why you disagree. I'd be glad to see your side, and there's a pretty good chance I'll agree with you too. Thanks guys, and I'll see you in the next one.